Do I need to add to the short position of Bitcoin? If you are interested in this question, please follow me. Currently, I still hold positions with a total value of about 300,000 US dollars, all of which are worth opening short orders. What about Ethereum, which has a profit of 6,100 US dollars? The total profit of the currency is more than 3,000 US dollars, which is about more than 9,000 US dollars. In profit. What if you are also very interested in this profit? Because this order, from the time I placed the order until now, it is completely real, and when trading opportunities arise, I have mentioned it very clearly in the video before. If you are also interested in trading, you are welcome to click on the Bybit link below my video. Now as long as you make a KYC deposit of 100 US dollars, you will receive 30 US dollars in cash and you can withdraw coins. BitGet will give you 20 US dollars of trial money as long as you KYC. Plus Blindbox, you are very welcome to join my KCGI team. As long as you open a position on it and make a profit, the results of entering the game will be calculated. The results will be based on the results. Let's share the prize of 2.65 million US dollars. Let's go back to the Bitcoin market. If we look at it from the daily line, we can find that in fact, from the daily line, it's still bearish. So when we look for short selling opportunities, we have to cut to at a smaller level. I think there is nothing to say about the daily line. I think we have said it many times. From 4 hours, we can see that the market trend we followed is basically the same as what we deduced or judged yesterday. The exact same thing is that Bitcoin went up and tested the upper resistance of about 26,800 and then broke down. We also mentioned that at this position, in fact, there are trading opportunities or opportunities to increase positions. After all, our first position was not opened at this place. Our first position was opened at 27,300. When we placed the order, uh, there was a complete video. You can see it. In fact, we talked about adding positions in yesterday's video. There are only two opportunities. The first is when he tests upward, which is a good opportunity to add positions. The second is when he breaks down, which is a good opportunity to add positions. Basically, there are these two. Well, I have already added a position, so I have not added another position at this position. Although it is said that the position is currently open at 300,000 US dollars. We hope that I personally hope that this position can be increased to 600,000 to 700,000 US dollars. Position. But what we want to play is an order with a relatively large cycle. If I establish a position at the beginning and establish a position that is too large, it will easily cause my mood to fluctuate greatly. So I will establish a relatively small position now. Then when the market slowly goes down, I will gradually increase the position. Especially when I am in a bear market, I will also reduce the position, because everyone knows that we open in a bull market. The position must be much larger than this. So what other things are worth noting if we start from 4 hours? If we use VPPR to pull it, we can find that the current chips of Bitcoin are very densely concentrated. Between the two blue lines, these two blue lines can also represent the upper and lower boundaries of our entire box. The upper boundary, as we have talked about, is 26,800. It can also add short positions by touching it. If the lower boundary is broken, I will think it is also a place to add positions. Is it worth adding positions now? I think it is not because we are now. The first one is our POC position. Moreover, it has had a certain period of shock before. When it goes down, we are also very likely to have a certain period of shock at this position. It is actually not suitable to increase the position during the shock. Usually, it is 2 o'clock. The first is that the price is good, and the second is that it has a very clear signal. For example, its explosive volume has exceeded, etc. Then I will think that if we fall below the box, we will increase the position, which will be a more it's a great choice or it's simpler to directly add positions if the previous low falls below. So I also think this method is very good. But if we don't add positions at this position, I don't open a short order at this place and choose to open it now. It is a bad way to hold a position or open a short order. The price is not good and there may even be a rebound. The first is our POC position. Next, we can also see that if we increase this period, we can pull it up. Fibonacci regards this period of rise as bullish people, then they will be waiting to buy the bottom at the position of 0.618. So when we reach this position, I believe there will be a wave of bottom buying, and someone will buy the bottom of us. There will definitely be a rebound. There may be a rebound. If there is a rebound, we shouldn't add positions here. To add positions, we should wait for the rebound to end. 
or for the market to really ferment when it really breaks through smoothly. It would be a wiser choice if we choose to add positions. In fact, what about the current wave of decline? Well, personally, I still feel that it is a little unhealthy or not perfect. If we say a perfect decline, it should be that the market is in when it goes down, the volume energy of our short position will continue to increase as the market falls. But you can see our current volume energy trend. It is also falling as the market falls. This is a bit out of line, I hope that when the market falls, our volume will also increase. We can take a closer look to see if this happens next. Let's look at Ethereum. Ethereum is on the weekly line. He has come to the trend. Near the line. I think if Bitcoin falls below 25,000, then Ethereum will have an explosive market that will explode the trend line. Then we can see the daily line and the daily line again. We can find out. Ethereum is much closer to the previous low. You can see that it is much closer to the previous low. It is very different from Bitcoin. Moreover, in the process of our adjustment, Ethereum is moving towards its high point. The downward movement or the upper edge that the shock touches is downward. But what about Bitcoin? Without Bitcoin, it is almost in the same level. Above the horizontal line, Ethereum is a little weaker than Bitcoin during this trend. This can also explain why my Ethereum position is larger than that of Bitcoin, which is double the position of Bitcoin. Finally, let's come to take a look at DXY. DXY is the US dollar index. In this upward trend, Bitcoin fell back. Of course, the US stock market also fell back. If it continues to rise next, I believe that Bitcoin will fall below too. 1 5. But it has reached a resistance level. I think this resistance level can produce a certain resistance effect. But in the end, I believe it will still be broken. Thank you very much. I welcome any videos that you can help me with. Like, subscribe, share, and turn on the little bell, which is the greatest support for me. Thank you very much. Bye.